What is up? Hey, it's Blake in my warehouse giving you an update on Swap.com. About a week ago, I said I would be listing a lot of clothes on here. Uh, a lot of $1 clothes, clothing items, clothes I bought uh, at thrift stores on the Swap.com. A lot went to Plato's Closet, but the extras went here. I've been doing this for a few months, so I have a lot of boxes in. I had a, uh, a box get listed and priced a few days after I made that previous video and I wanted to give you a quick update on how I'm selling on swap.com here we are in the site don't have to blur this out because I redacted it <laughs> uh, you can just change using uh, inspect element on Chrome you can just change words um, these are my prices the screens right in the way okay well I'll go over here and this will go over here and now we will have a way better idea what I changed is um, my pricing preference is now uh, I was on the lower price earlier and I'm all the way over here to the best price uh, they're gonna price high because what I realized after doing a bit more digging is that they're gonna lower the price no matter what uh, as long as they don't sell so when you look at this three days in stock uh, it's gonna be priced higher uh, Ian, even if I have it on the get best price longer sales time option, as this does not sell as time goes on and on and on, it'll lower and lower the price. And I can tell that because look at this. Down here, all these items are much, much lower. Uh, a Nike golf shirt, Tommy Hilfiger pants, six bucks, 13 bucks. Uh, this would be closer to $15, $16 if it were a couple days old. Um, alternatively, if I had everything, you know, super low, you can even see the prices here. I mean, some of these things, $26, new with tags, $16, fair condition, $18, fair condition. That's pretty crazy, huh? Uh, and if I had this in the uh, sell faster, even lower price, it'd be closer to like $8, 9 $10 for these items, and then probably 18 bucks here. Why am I doing this? Good question. Because I noticed the things sell, uh, if there's someone who wants it, they're going to buy it. This whole... The difference in price is not really a big deal, and the whole reason you do it is to move old inventory. And because they do it automatically, I just don't see any reason to undercut myself. I want to go over a few of these prices we have here uh, so you can get an idea for what they are paying. And just for fun, we're going to go on eBay and look uh, at a comparable listing. So like a Ping Collection golf jacket for 10 bucks plus shipping. We'll see what that would sell for on eBay. If it ever loads <laughs> ping collection golf jacket and ping is a uh, a well-known golf brand they make really good putters and just good irons and good clubs in general now this is uh, pretty similar to this one right here you can see 22 bucks uh, that's one of the issues with swap.com is they don't really say everything that uh, this jacket has they're not gonna say it's waterproof it is waterproof uh, we're gonna go to used and then we're going to do a uh, sold listing. So as soon as this updates, we'll go down to the sold listings and then we'll see just exactly if this $10 uh, of which I would only make like three bucks, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Um, if that makes sense. Does it make sense? Let's find out as it updates. Here we go. 15 free shipping, 25 free shipping. 27 best offer, uh, brand new though. I thought I had this. I must not have. Uh, while it's updating, basically what it looks like is that $10 might be on the low end. Uh, a lot are selling fast. What size is it? I even forget. Extra large, so a good size. Uh, realistically, you know, this 26, the, the 20 to $25 range is probably what it would go for because again it is waterproof um, I didn't want to list it I don't like listing things like this but it kind of gives you a good idea yes this is being underpriced and I think it will probably sell slow on here too I don't think that a lot of people who are buying ping op, uh, golf jackets are going on swap.com let's uh, look at another option though Calvin Klein casual gray pants I like gray khaki pants 34 waist Calvin Klein gray casual pants. 
34 inches. Again, used, sold listings. Uh, and I would think, actually, I'm gonna get more money on swap.com. Let's see, wow, brand new. Ooh, these are all brand new. Yeah, uh, used, I'd be amazed if used sales are higher than $16 with shipping. I'd also be amazed if it ever uploaded. Um, I don't I don't think this is the best uh, internet connection I have and so we are paying the price but as you can see here uh, even the news you know seventeen dollars seventeen dollars 21 free ship ooh it's twenty one dollars free ship sixteen dollars free ship twelve nineteen ninety nine ooh that, that's a high one actually forty five fifty five that's that's just crazy uh, most of these, as you can see, are like in the $10 to $20 range. Um, and so for me to get $16 out of that, I'm not even paying shipping. They're paying shipping. It's 6 bucks flat shipping, I think, on swap.com. Um, out of this, I will make like $6. That's not bad, considering on a, you know, a pair like this right here, <laughs> $2.24 plus shipping, you're making like a buck fifty on those. That's terrible. Um, they're a little bit different pants, but, uh, wow, this might even be, th this might be a swap.com listing. This is nice. I didn't even plan this out. How nice. Yeah, this is from swap.com. So they sold these same pants on eBay for 1090 with free shipping. Uh, I assume someone just did like a, a, a sure sale with swap.com. <laughs> That's funny. Very, very similar pants. But they think they can get 16 bucks on their website. Free World Jeans, 18. LL Bean Jeans, 17. These will go for about 10 bucks on eBay. A Brooks Running Jacket. American Eagle Good Condition Jeans, $20. Can you believe that? 20 bucks. Uh, a lot of these items are going for more than they would on Amazon. Uh, and it's jeans and like mall brand attire. Again, you can see though. The ping golf jacket was not a good call. Even these, uh, even this polo Ralph Lauren shirt, 22 bucks on swap.com. That's wild. That really is crazy. Uh, I, I, they've only been up for you know a week, two weeks, a few days, so I don't really have the best idea of if they're moving. But what I can do is go to my sold, my sales history, and then again we will see, okay, what is actually selling? I'm selling one thing every few days. I think it isn't not every single day. I've got 74 items up. Uh, and as you can see, all time I've only made $75 about. Not the best, but in the past 30 days, I've sold 15 items and I've got like a dozen or 15 boxes that still have to be inventoried. So hopefully as I get those more and more going through, I'll be making three, four, five sales a day, hands-free. Uh, you can see a swimsuit sold. I made a buck twenty-eight off that, but it was in my inventory forever. These sold much, much faster. Sweaters and some short sleeve polos. This one sold for like what, nineteen dollars? So this is my the money I'm getting off of it. Buck twenty-five, five bucks, six bucks, four bucks, five bucks, three bucks, two bucks, eighty cents. Boo! And this eighty cents is when I was doing like the ultimate low price, um, which was a mistake, I think, because as you can see. By going to the highest price, which happened right here, my sales are not really hurting. And again, uh, yeah, this 80, 88 cents for a polo. Fast forward, 640 for a polo. Uh, and that was really kind of my fault for messing with my pricing settings. I just want to show you also how many boxes I have that are just waiting. And it's kind of weird because you look at this. These are the two most recent boxes I mailed, and they've already been listed. Here's a random one in February. But these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 boxes are just like, where are they? No one knows. I've emailed them, and they don't know. I've emailed them about this, like, why are these boxes being listed earlier? And I have gotten no response. So um, am I worried <laughs> that these boxes have disappeared forever, gone into... Their Bolingbrook, Illinois warehouse, never to be seen again by human eyes? No, not yet. Probably at the end of the month I will be. Uh, again, they're pretty good about keeping in touch. They haven't got back to me about this weird discrepancy. Um, but, you know, I digress. This is the most recent box that they checked in, actually. These were all the jeans, and as you can see, only a 13% reject rate 
on jeans. That's pretty good. Uh, pretty good, uh, you know, to have that few clothes get rejected. And then this traded percent, I think what this is, is the amount of items sold out of the box. So already six out of the 34 items have already sold and that's 17% and I've made again 27 bucks off of that. So out of the 34 items listed at a dollar item, I am very, very close to breaking even. This box here at a dollar item made me $12, uh, about, you know, $13, or sorry, about um, $17. And this was also my very first box and I had no clue what I was doing. A lot of these clothes are garbage clothes that are never gonna sell or they're shorts that are no brand shorts. Uh, a lot of it got rejected. You, see, you can see 42% got rejected. 45 here. That is kind of crazy. This one must still be uh, updated because usually I can get about, you know, 40 items in a box. So, uh, I don't know. Maybe the math adds up. Maybe not. This would be my only complaint about Swap.com. Everything else uh, I'm relatively satisfied with. I hope this video gave you a good idea of what they're selling for. Definitely in comparison to eBay. You don't get all the money like you do on eBay. You only get like 30 or 40% uh, of the actual sale price. But then again, you're doing hardly any work. So uh, I do like swap.com. I'll be doing some more updates on this, you know, in the months to come. Hopefully we'll see these boxes get inventoried. If not, uh, I'll have a very angry swap.com video coming up. But if they do, uh, in the next few weeks, get put into their inventory listings, the listed for sale clothes, I'll be singing a different tune and hopefully have a couple hundred bucks I wouldn't otherwise have. Thanks for watching, guys. You like this video, subscribe. You like swap.com, subscribe. If you don't like swap.com, tell me why so I can know and everyone else can know as well and we all make my money together. See you guys later.